let's take bananas for example. So the population is highly fooled into believing that a banana is unhealthy for you. Why? I have no clue. Other than the fact that they think they're too high in carbs or sugar or some kind of crap. But you and I both know that's a bullface lie. Oh, you're taping me? <laughs> the only concern that I have with bananas is the fact that a high percentage of them are non-organic. So, if a non-organic banana enters your body, it's going to be like a foreign invader because it has chemicals, pesticides, and all the like impregnated into it. Regardless about the thick skin, I don't buy into that. That's a load of crap. So if something has thick skin on it, allegedly it's healthy for you, even if it's raised conventionally. But in the big picture, let's just say that banana, let's go right back to molecular science here. So a banana grows on a tree, right? So this tree is planted as a seed in ground that has been fertilized and chemically enhanced. So that seed grows into a tree, and then the tree grows bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Then all of a sudden it starts bearing blossoms and fruit. The fruit is the banana. During its whole lifespan, that tree is getting sprayed constantly with chemicals and pesticides. The banana is then plucked from that tree and harvested, and it's green. Then it goes to the store, and it sits there, and it becomes yellow, and it becomes nice and pristine. You go buy a bunch of these bananas, and you bring them home to your family. And you feed your kids and your wife and your girlfriends and your guests and your company and all these other people the banana that you just bought at the grocery store thinking to yourself that it's high in potassium and it's a good source of fiber. Which, theoretically, that is true. But the problem I have is that thick skin on the banana may be able to shelter that spray and chemicals at the end of its life. But in the big picture, it came from that tree that was planted in the ground that had the fertilizer and the chemicals and all the crap. And then as the tree grew, it still got sprayed with all that crap and then it bared the fruit. So let's take this as an analogy. A woman just becomes pregnant, and what does she do? Smokes her lungs out nine months out of the pregnancy. So what happens to that baby? Birth defects. Well, guess what? Same thing with the banana. There's no way you can wash all that crap off because it's already inside. It's impregnated. There's nothing you can do about it. So the underlying message is this, and it's really simple. Don't buy the conventional banana. Go with the organic. The organic banana is not going to have the chemicals and pesticides, and you don't have to worry about nothing. You can eat that banana, 120 calories worth of it, in harmony, joy, and ease. And we like to live life easy as much as we can. And your body's going to recognize it because it's organic and doesn't have to play around with any kind of chemicals or pesticides in your gut. Anyway, there's my story, and I'm sticking to it. My name is K-Rail, and I'm a lean beret. <laughs>